Hey y'all, Uncle Eddie coming at you. Hi, how you doing? Back to the grind. So, um, I blasted some parts last night on the outdoor. I'll show it to you outside of here in a minute. I'm just taking a minute because it's hot. It's already hot. It's like, I think it's like 9 or something. 9.30, 10 o'clock, something like that. And it's already good and warm. So that's fine, no worries. Uh, I primed those two parts I did last night. Some of them I had done in the cabinet before, but I did them outside as well last night. And then uh, I had to do, Ted came over, asked me to do a couple parts for his, uh, he's taking the, <laughs> this guy's dedicated, man. He's, he's nautical all the way. But he took, a, he's got a 30 foot sailboat mast, right? Big thing, God, look at these. All aluminum, and um, it's shaped like a, so it's like a tear, you know? And uh, he's mounting it to this, he's got this hole dug, he's going to pour the concrete, he's got a, a stand that's got bolts in it to go down into the concrete. And um, it's about a, uh, it's like a, it's like two foot deep, but it's like a foot square, so... He was going to leave it one foot. I said, I think you should make it two, just in case. Plus, when we go to stand it up and everything, you don't want to, if the ground is saturated, you don't want it to pull out or whatever. And um, so he gave me a couple of these two pieces that where the flags go, where he's going to put, like, you know, an American flag. And I think I think on certain holidays or certain, certain other days, like... Uh, MIA, POW, and VFW, and that kind of stuff, so I'm just going to put that up. It's going to be impressive, no doubt. But, uh, so I've been helping, helping him with that, uh, like the other day, and, and doing those parts for him last night. And, uh, and now I'm blasting more stuff in the cabinet. Got the cabinet back at it, got my weather strip, and I put that on this morning. And, uh, so... And I got these two sitting out here. They're uh, they were pretty well. They were skinned, like skin dry. You know what I mean? I don't know if you know what I mean. When the when the paint starts to skin, and it's okay. So I stuck them out here in the sun, and they're out here cooking, getting uh, drying up nicely. And uh, so I'm doing that. Now I got the the outdoor one flipped over because it rained late last night, so I flipped her over. Painted it white, so that way it doesn't get saturated and soak into the material. Then I can start doing all. Oops, I can start. Let me take this out here. Start doing all these, this and this and that and this. I start doing a little bit of that and the, the disking thing and the thunder. There, his boat pieces. He wanted me to do the ends, these ends here, so I did the ends for him, and then. So I'm waiting for, yes, the cub's still up in the air. I'm waiting for the, the guy I'll be coming today with the drive belt. So I'll put the drive belt back on. And then I can put the deck back on and maybe I can cut some grass. Maybe this evening. Maybe. Um, I don't really have anything in here now. Right? I took everything. Yeah, so I got to get some more. Favorite one on blast next. I was going to do sets, but I think I'm just going to do it. Pieces. Well, certain things will be pieces. Other things will be. So, those two pieces out there. Here, hold on. Well, here. Wait, actually. Let's see here. So, the two pieces I have out there is this. The cover for the rear PTO. And the assembly plate for the rear PTO. And then I also have this pulley that goes into that rear PTO, which I have all that. That's what this is here. This pulley, the clips. I also got um, one of the pedals. I'm going to do the pedal. And then I also got this uh, dipstick. Dipstick. Transmission oil. So, you know, take, part, take pictures of everything. And, uh, and then I got a lot more. I got a lot more to get done. You know, all kinds of stuff to. I'm gonna have to reblast a lot of this stuff because you can see sitting here, it picked up a surface rust. So it's not that big of a deal. I put it in the cabinet, 
about, I don't know, about a minute or so and pull it out. And as soon as I pull it out, I'll start priming it. Oh, and there's the bird feeder. I got to, they want me to, uh, mom wants me to repaint that. So I'm going to blast it, clean it up and repaint it. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And at the moment, I'm just taking a minute because it's hot. I'm already grubby. Things are good. Health is great. Um, yeah, I'm happy. Or just, I'm going to just get my parts. I'll be even happier. You know? Oh, if you ever do that, you ever stand that up like that? Or some way, or some kind of a lift. You always just a lift. Don't... So one guy put it back. I mean, if it didn't have any fuel in the tank, you could maybe stand it up on its back, but I didn't want to do that. But um, definitely take the battery out. The battery that's in that one is an old non-sealed one. There it is there on the floor. Down there, that little, that little that guy right there. Um, it was leaking <laughs> a little bit of fluid out of it, so no big deal. I just added distilled water to it. It wasn't, it wasn't anything major, but it was enough to make a slight mess so you should always do that and uh, yeah I'm just waiting for the belt to come in and when the belt comes I'll put her on put the deck back on and I need to get out here and cut me some grass before it gets crazy out of control plus I want to see how the deck works you know how it, hopefully everything will be okay and I'll be able to cut it at a higher I might cut it twice I don't know depends on how it acts I sharpened the blades and everything, so it should be all right. We shall see, and greased all the spindles and, and everything else. Stuff I needed to do anyway, so. It's just funny how the two of them are like, well, we're both not going to work. Being you've been off for a week, we're going to take some time off. Like, yeah, okay, thanks, great. <laughs> just what I don't need. Really? my teeth. So, uh, yeah, that's what's going on. Oh, I gotta put these out there, too. These weights. These are the wheel weights. They're, uh, they're like 20 pounds each. I'm gonna blast these. Plus the hardware. Although, I gotta get one more bolt. I'm missing one. Uh, right there. I got the bolts. I gotta blast them, too. I could do them in the cabinet, but they're so heavy, I don't want them in the cabinet. Uh, I think that, I don't know what I'm going to do about that three-point hitch being that that one arm broke. I may just sell it as it is and let somebody else deal with it, you know, if they want to. If they don't, then whatever, I'll scrap, I'll scrap it. A um, couple other things to do. Maybe when the sun's on the other side, i got to pull that other, that brake pedal assembly off. Uh, the transmission, I'm gonna, the two toe ends, there's one on each end. This one, I may do, I may pull this plate off, but this pulley is shot, as you can tell. Um, even this might be too far gone, I don't know. I'll find out when I pull it off. See what else I can pull off of it. And... Oh, I gotta get a, gotta pick up a bead breaker so I can pop them tires off, them rims. Those two, that one there, the other big one there. I want to look at see about blasting those rims. They don't, the rims themselves don't leak, so they should be okay. But I'll find out when I blast them if they're salvageable or not. If they are, then I can. Uh, I got another. I got that one there. One, two. Yeah, I'll have a set front and rear. I can sell that. So, yeah, that's what I got going on. And, uh, so I'm going to get back to it. I'm going to kick this fan up on high, because if I turn it on high right now, you won't hear anything but wind. And, um, I will let you know what's going on. We'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully in a few hours, the uh, belt will be here. So, uh, y'all take care of yourselves. Be good. Good to one another. All that good stuff. And be safe out there. And always do safe practices, man. Don't. Don't put yourself at risk. Oh, and I made Ted a free all believer. <laughs> He's like, man, I believe. I'm like, hell yeah. Told you. He didn't believe me. He was like, I don't know, man. I went over there and there's other parts we were working on and had a couple cleats that he wanted to take off that mast. And uh, 
And they had all the, hey, I got this, and I got that, and I'm like sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting. Couldn't get them off, the, the, the little screws weren't coming out. Let me just spray this on there and soak it, man, for about 15 minutes or so. And then we'll pop them off. He's like, oh, this is this guy. Pop them off. And about 20 minutes later, I start popping them off. He's like, oh, you made a believer out of me. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Free all for the win. But uh, anyway, y'all take care. And I will, uh, I will see you all later. See ya.